my teeth. Mm, no, my teeth. Oh, 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 sugar. No more sugar. Hi, my name is Jordan Johnston, and I'm a recent graduate of LaSalle College. Woo, what a nightmare. Well, today I'm talking breakfast, the day's most miraculous meal. When you think of breakfast, you might think of a syrup drenched flapjack, or a robustly sprinkled donut, or even a frosted cereal bowl. Well, all of those options come with the one way ticket to Candy Mountain. Because I'm talking sugar, and we're getting too much of it. So today, I'm gonna, we're gonna make a delicious pancake, which is made and gets all of its sugar as well as a nice source of fiber from fruit. So come on down to breakfast town. You can have your pancake and eat it too. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get a very ripe banana, and they sweeten as they ripen. So you want to get it really ripe, that way that the pancake will be nice and sweet for you. And we're going to mash it. You can do it in the skin or in the bowl. Here I'm going to start the mashing in the skin. So bananas contain fiber and pectin, which help digestion and doesn't spike blood sugar. Man, with all these banana facts, you'd almost think you were getting a B.A. in bananas. So after we put the banana mash in a bowl, we're going to continue mashing it and add some some baking powder banana okay now you're gonna combine raisins egg applesauce nut butter salt vanilla cinnamon and almond milk to the mixture and stir it all together like this so now the nut butter and egg will add some protein to the mix and she, as, as well as the vanilla and cinnamon <laughs> will up the flavor factor. Make sure when choosing your nut butter, you're choosing just straight up nutty goodness with no added sugar. And same thing with the applesauce, it's all apples. And the applesauce and raisins should add some good old mm, 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 homegrown sugary sweetness to the mix. Why? Because it's sugary and sweet. Because they're fruit. Mama. The almond butter has protein and vitamin E, as well as some monounsaturated and or healthy fats. Now you're gonna add your rolled oats and whole wheat flour, which will add some additional fiber to the mix. And it will give some nice girth to the pancakes. The miracle of girth. Must see TV. And don't over stir. Just stir until combined. Just stir until combined. <clears throat> so now I'm going to pour this into a pan and you can make it on a skillet or if you don't have a skillet and stove top, you can cook it in a toaster oven. Going back to school is sometimes hard. This pancake recipe will offer you a nutritious breakfast without the sugar, and it'll keep you from crashing throughout the day. All right, now we're gonna add the batter to the pan. I'm putting all of it in there so I can have a big pancake. And maybe, if luck will have it, I can eat a little bit of it at a time and I can have breakfast throughout the week. 
All right, so I made the pancake a little bit too big and it won't exactly flip over in this pan. So I'm preparing a second pan for premium flippage. You ready, Houston? So we have liftoff. All right, so our pancake is done. Don't lick the flame. And... It's really not that heavy. I'm going to put it in a plate. All right, so we're all set. And we're going to top it with some sugar. Uh, we're going to, nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to top it with some fruit for some additional sweetness and maybe some Greek yogurt. And uh, there it is. It's pretty. It looks like a planet, kind of. And until next time, next time when you're craving something sweet, you're going to make this bad, Larry. I hope. So until next time, keep on cooking.